Edgar's is the primary and original brand of Edcon. A jet clothing store in Cape Town. A CNA book and stationery store. A Boardman storefront in Canal Walk Mall in 2016, two years before the brand was discontinued. Edcon Limited was a retail company based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Its subsidiaries included Edgar's, a department store with 203 branches. In 2020, the Competition Tribunal approved the sale of the Edgar's division to Retail Ability Limited and jet to the Foshini Group. Edcon Limited was the leading clothing, footwear and textiles retailing group in South Africa trading through a range of retail formats. The first Edgar's store was opened on September 6, 1929 in Joubert Street, Johannesburg by Eli Ross. It was listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in 1949 and opened its first stores outside of South Africa in Botswana, Lesotho and Swaziland in 1966-69. Since then, the company had grown to 10 retail brands trading in over 1,400 stores in South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Swaziland, Lesotho, Ghana, Zimbabwe and Zambia. In 1982 the company, still known as Edgar's, was acquired by South African breweries. It launched its Red Square retail chain in 1996 and acquired the struggling stationary retailer CNA in 2002 for our 130 million. The company acquired the houseware retailer Boardman's in 2004 for our 94 million. Edcon Financial Services provided credit facilities and financial services products to the group's over 4 million cardholders. In November 2015, according to reports, Edcon Limited referred to the National Consumer Tribunal. In October 2017, it was reported that Edcon rewarded its customers with a revitalized Thank You Customer Reward Program. Bain Capital concluded a private equity deal that delisted the group from the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in 2007. In early 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the company ceased to pay rents for its retail locations while the resultant lockdowns in South Africa prevented businesses from operating. The group has subsequently gone into business rescue with a number of their subsidiaries being sold off to other fashion retail holding companies. Following the private equity takeover, Edcon had a succession of CEOs, lost significant market share, and struggled with an oversupply of leased floor space. This was partly due to an increase in cheaper imported clothing and the increasing move to online shopping by customers. In 2016 the company recorded a net debt of our 24. 7 billion and was temporarily taken over by debtors to avoid financial collapse. This resulted in the closure of 253 stores by 2018 as part of a recovery plan and by 2017 the company had reduced its level of net debt to our 4. 2 billion. In July 2018 Edcon announced that it was closing its Boardman's Homeware and Los Senza stores. In January 2018, Grant Pattison became CEO. In December 2018 it was reported in the Sunday Times that Edcon and its subsidiaries were on the brink of financial collapse and was seeking a deal with mall owners to reduce rental payments. Edcon disputed the reports but did state that it was working towards eliminating company debt and a deal to prevent the closure of its stores. The possible 44,000 direct and additional 100,000 indirect job losses should the company stop trading was used to by trade union SAFTU to criticize President Ramaphosa's economic policies. Following the COVID-19 lockdown in South Africa in 2020, Edcon announced that they had filed for business rescue and that approximately 5,000 jobs were on the line. On 8 September 2020, the Competition Tribunal approved the sale of Edgar's to Durban-based, private fashion company Retailability, who owns three other brands, Legit, Style, and Beaver Canoe. The competition tribunal also approved the sale of Jet to the Foshini Group saving an additional undisclosed number of jobs in the process. The CNA Group was sold to a Mauritian holding company. Defined by the target market served, all retail business is structured under two divisions, the stock of the company is listed on the Johannesburg Securities Exchange and Zimbabwe Stock Exchange, and is part of the Zimbabwe Industrial Index. Thanks for watching.